Hello and welcome back. This is Morris Gimba and today I want to show you how you can create a connection between the rafters and the, and the gable column. And the, uh, the type of connection we are going to use is wind uh, column connection and that macro we can get it in or on the side of my macro gallery and a beam connection, beam to column connection. So we'll click on that drop down arrow like that. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to see wind column connection. So we are going to apply this to connect the rafters to our gable columns. We'll apply that to that and we'll apply that to that. And in here, we'll customize this one or this one to connect this. So this one will be maybe will be a modified connection of this uh, wind connection. Now let's get started. I'll go ahead and click on wind connection right here. If I mouse over it, you'll be able to see all the writings all the, or all the instructions or uh, hints on how to use this particular connection. Now, let me just go ahead and click or invoke that particular command. I'll click on it. Then I'll pick, I'll, I'll pick on the beam first or I'll pick on the rafter first. I'll, I'll pick on the rafter, then pick on the column. I'll right click and exit that particular command. Then I'll be able to turn that connection and check whether it has been created though it has been created perfectly well and we can leave it like, like that. Now we'll go ahead on this side also and create a similar one. I'll pick on the rafter first as my first connection, then pick on the column. So the moment I pick on the column, I'll right click and click, inter uh, and click interrupt to exit from that particular command. Now I want to modify this particular connection to apply the same on the column that hits at the bottom end of our apex hunch. Now I want to apply the same connection here, though uh, that, that particular connection will be hitting at the bottom end of our apex hunch. Now I'm going to pick this particular uh, connection. I'll select on it first. Once I've selected on it, I'll explode it. Now to select this macro, this uh, green, yellow, or this uh, axis shows that this is this macro is active and it has not been exploded. Now we want to explode this. So the moment we explode it, we'll be able to customize it and use it or apply it on this particular end. So I'm going to select this macro, right click and come to macros here, then come all the way and, expl and explode selected macros. I'll explode it. So the moment I've, I've exploded it, I'll select everything, then pr uh, press control, uh, deselect any part that you don't want to include in, in your modification, then right click and come to copy right here. I'll pick copy, then uh, I'll snap on this particular point here and apply and snap at the same point, at, at a similar point on this particular column that appears at the bottom of the apex hunch. So I'll snap on that particular point right there. So I'll give it some time though, some error notification will, will, will appear, but since it's a customized connection, we'll, we'll customize it to meet the, uh, to meet our requirement. Though it's, a, it's not a standard connection, but it's a customized one. Now, I'll click, on, I'll click on empty screen, though you can see it, there's some sort of clash. This plate, this stiffener is clashing with, with the bottom end of our uh, hunch. Now, we want to modify this to fit what we need. Now, to, to modify this, I'll come to I'll come to edit. So under edit, I'll use a cut tool. I want to cut this plate to, to and uh, cut, uh, cut, uh, I want to cut this plate to fit at the bottom end of this particular uh, plate behind or beneath the hunch, apex hunch. So I'll click on this drop down arrow under, under cut and pick on plain cut. I'll select the part to be cut. You can see the, the instruction at the bottom and you select part to be cut. I want to cut this particular plate or stiffener. I'll select on it. So the moment I select on it, I'll select the cutting plane or this uh, um, uh, um, a surface that I want to fit that plate onto. So I'll select at the bottom end of that particular plate. So I'll right click and get out of that particular command. So if I select on this plate and uh, turn, try to turn it around, you'll, you'll be able to see I've already cut off the extra plate that was uh, clashing with, the, with our apex hunch. Now this is how it is. 
Now I'll select this once again and pick on this vertex here. I'll, I'll select on the vertex here. Then I'll come to this particular point here under plate. So I'll, now I want to apply a small a small chamfer. I'll pick on that. Then I can I can give it that distance. I can you can feed, you can feed any uh, measurement for for chamfer of your choice. So I'll just retain it at that and click apply. So I'll chamfer it. I'll chamfer it like that. Then I'll close that dialog box. Click on empty screen to deselect uh, the plate. Now, what I'm going to do next, since I've, I've chamfered that, I want to create an assembly. So I want to weld this plate to this uh, bottom end of this apex hunch. Now, I'll come to edit, or I'll come to steel to access the tool for weld. So I'll come to auto weld here and click on, or, and click on the drop down arrow here and pick on automatic to object welding. Now I'll pick on that, or I'll pick on that choice. Then, before you invoke that command, the, the, I mean the moment you invoke that command, first of all check on the instruction at the bottom end of the of the program here. Select the plate or profile to be welded. I'll select on the plate first. Now select a plate or the profile. I'll select that. So you can see this yellow indication means it has been welded to this particular plate at the bottom. Uh, the, at the bottom of the hunch. Now, the, this plate here, it has not been welded to any part. Now, I want to add it. I want to weld it because I want to weld it at the at the bottom end of this plate of appearing at the at uh, at this plate on the apex hunch. Now, I'll come back to uh, welding, weld uh, weld automatic, and pick on automatic. Then select this plate and weld it on this plate. Then right click and terminate that command by clicking interrupt. Now, to check whether our assembly is correct, I'll just select, I'll select this member, then right click and come to select assembly. You'll be able to see assembly has been selected. So if I now give an option, like I want to see the, the selected objects only. So I'll come to show only selected and you, you, you will be able to see that we have only this in place. So this will be transported or welded at, at the workshop and, 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 and uh, transported all the way to the site for assembly. So you can see the, the, the connection we created. So this will be part of this rafter. So this will be very easy to, to, to carry on a truck for assembly on site. Now, let me right click and, and come here and show all. Now I want to copy this the other end. And prior to copying this the other end, I want to fit my base plate. So I'll come to this uh, beam and uh, beam to column connection. I'll minimize that. Then come to base plate connection. I'll pick on the base plate connection. Then pick on the base plate right there. And then pick the columns where I want to place my base plate. Like that. Right click and terminate that uh, that command. Now I want to copy this connections the other end so i want to show you another way on how we can copy this connection the other end what we can do i can come here and select this select on this particular connection select on it so they want to select on it i'll come to uh, i want to clone this connection to the other end the other end also you can just copy the connection to the other end but i want to just to clone this connection to this uh, gable connection on the on the opposite direction. So what I'm going to do, I'm just selecting the, um, the whole connection. Then I come here and click clone all. So the moment I click on clone all, I'll be able to proceed and see the the, if the connection will be created right there. The, the connection has been created, but there's some sort of uh, members that has been included, but will remove those parts. So what we'll, we'll just do, we'll just remove whatever we don't want. Just remove everything. We'll remove that, we'll remove that. So what we can do another way, we can just undo everything, then just copy those connections manually or by just deleting everything here. So then once you delete everything here, we'll just, uh, let me first of all add these base plates here so that we copy them manually. Let me right click and exit that command. So in the moment I select everything here, I'll right click and come to 
a special copy and pick on linear. So the moment I pick on linear, I'll be able to snap at the bottom end here. So the moment you see the right snapping uh, symbol means you are you are in the right intersection. So let me just zoom that and move all the way to this far end here. So if I snap here, let me snap right there. I want you to see that red uh, symbol of snap. So if I zoom out, I'll be able to see. I'll be able to see the space. So the moment you, you you snap on that spot, you'll be able to see the full span or the full length of the of the whole structure has been indicated on the y axis. Now just go and click copy. So we give it some time to show or to copy all those parts to this far end, and you see nothing has been completed, nothing has been brought, but only one single only one connection has been brought forth. So what we, what we want to do, we want just to copy this connection this far end. Now. Let me select on this and select on this. Then right click and come all the way to linear. Then uh, I want to copy it from this far end once again, snap on that spot and move all the way to that, to that far end. Now we are trying to copy that connection to this far end. There are so many ways to do, to do so, but let's try this right click and click interrupt to terminate that command. So we see our connection is in place. So if I click on that, you'll be able to see we have the connection in place. So we do the same thing on the other side. So I'll pick on this connection, I'll select everything here, then deselect whatever you don't want to carry along. So I'll right click and come to special copy and pick on linear. So the moment I pick on linear, I'll snap on the far end here until I see that red a symbol of snap, then move all the way to this far end and uh, snap right at the bottom end here, right there and click copy. So the moment I close that, I'll be able to see we have the connection this far end. So that's how you can create a connection or, or how you can customize your connection. So we have the base plate in place and uh, uh, base plate on this side of the gable column with the wind connection in place. And that's how you can do it. So let's meet then on how and, and when I'll be showing you how we can create uh, the cladding rails and how we can fix uh, the sag rods, how you can fix on the uh, on the pilings and, and many more. So let's meet then.